What's happening, family? It's your boy Andre Romance, and I'm at this thing again. What's happening, fam? Man, I'm loving the way that life is moving. And I hope y'all liking the way life is moving for y'all too, man. And if y'all not liking the way, man, it just remember that you are in charge of the way that your life is moving. Like you are in charge of it. Everything that you are going through in your life is it's your job to have the best perception about it that you can have in order to yield to those results that you want in your life. Like you have to craft, you have to shift your mind, your thinking in order to gain that happiness that you that you need and you know deep down inside every all of us yearn for this happiness where we don't have no fears, we don't have no doubts. You know I give you an example. So, in my in my spirituality, I was raised up in Christianity. And I always had questions about Christianity. But it made as it, as I was conflicted. Every time I tried to venture off and look at different different other religions, you know, just to, just to see like what the difference was and why my religion was the the so-called right religion and all the other religions were wrong. It made me sad in my heart to know that there had to be such division. This was me growing up. So I allowed that to dictate the type of person I was going to be. I allowed it to craft how my life was going. And I wasn't totally satisfied with the information I was given. I was always told not to ask questions. You know, not to take the Lord's name in vain. I was I was told that it was blasphemy to question God. And I was raised to fear God in a way that was considered loving. But I understood that those two definitions are different. They are not the same. You can't love and fear somebody at the same time. You just can't do that. But when I started to when I started to understand and understand that my thinking was my own and that everything that I allow to happen in my life will come down to me, making a decision for myself. Then I started to become happy. And the reason why I started to become happy is because I got rid of the fear. I got rid of my fear to find out what the truth was for me. And not just because there was people in my life saying, this is the right way, or this is the only way. You're going to have those challenges in life where people around you are gonna tell you there's only one right way. This is the only way. And every other way is wrong. You're gonna have these type of challenges happen in your life and these challenges are going to these challenges are going to either break you or make you yearn for the for the, the truth even more and so as I begin to lose this fear that I will go to hell because of my lack of understanding that I would, I would go to hell for questioning 
my creator for wanting to know more information than what was taught to me. We all have this desire to know more, to know where we come from. And it's not a crime to want to know the most information you can about yourself. Don't you want to know about yourself? Don't you want to know how you came to existence? Don't you want to know that there is a place for you after this life? That it doesn't just end here? Or that if you guess wrong or that you get the, the wrong idea about life, that there is hope for you? That there is compassion behind you learning something that you have never learned before? Once you, once you start to understand and understand that you are in charge of how your life goes and your perception of everything changes once you get to that point then you become happy you start to fulfill your life because it is your choice to learn what you need to learn to get to your next level it's nobody else's job to educate you about your life as you become an adult these are all based on your own personal experiences you have some people that experience great things that they can say worked really well for them they just skated through their life and it was easy and then you have some people that just had such a hard life such a tough life and it is hard it's very 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 hard to tell somebody who have had a rough their whole life that this is going to be an easy transition or this is easy to do in life how can you persuade a person that a relationship is not going to harm them if all the relationships that they've been in are toxic. So this is what I'm getting at. Identify what life means for you, not what life means to everybody else around you. Because everybody has a different understanding of what life is and how it plays, how it works out in their favor. There's so many different variations of life that you can't, you can't contain life to one book. You can't contain life to one strategy. So I encourage y'all, I really encourage you all to make and build your own life. Go out and find the things that make you happy. And for the things that make you sad, find the alternate that makes you happy. And for the information that impels you. For the information that you carry around that makes you feel sad. Make you, makes you feel incomplete. Find the information. Do the research so that you can be fulfilled. If you have questions about anything that you have ever been taught in your life, research. Research is how you gain knowledge, understanding, the wisdom, understanding, even overstanding. You get all these things through your research. And as you are here on this earth, your research is so important. It is so important for you to understand and understand that every second you ought to be pushing to gain the information that you need. You have to be pushing for that. 
information that we lack, especially as we get older, as we become adults, the information that we lack is due to us not going the extra mile to get that knowledge and that information. So I encourage you all to go out and get that information. Don't follow what everybody says 100%. Always question what's being presented. Always question what's being presented. And find evidence that what you, the, the, the information that you have is truthful. Find your evidence. Do your research and find your evidence. I love you all. I encourage you all to have a great day and choose how the day is going to be according to what you want to feel like, not the other way around. Y'all keep me up and I'm going to keep y'all up and I'm out this thing, man.